are back again to Moments of Motivation MOM with Sister Gladys Ngozi Ayong. Thank you for stopping by at your favorite YouTube channel. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And click on the like button as well as drop your comments if any. Happy New Month everyone and welcome to the month of June, the middle of the year. In this month, I bring to you a special message titled, Becoming Role Models for the Coming Generation. Quote of the month, Be a role model just because you can and because you care. Role modeling is a beautiful art in life, but unfortunately, some persons follow others as role models without sufficient knowledge or reason. Such people could be referred to as blind followers. So, it is important that a role model should be a person who inspires someone to like him or her for his or her good qualities. It is also important for role models to be positive and responsible in instilling good morals and values because future generations are directly dependent on the role models of today. By way of definition, therefore, a role model will be said to be a person that you love and want to be like him or her. Role models are persons looked upon by others as an example to be imitated. Role models show young people how to live with integrity, optimism, hope, and determination. They play an essential part in a young person's positive development. Role models come into young people's lives in a variety of ways. They are educators, civic leaders, mothers, fathers, clergy, religious, peers, and ordinary people encountered in everyday life. Role modeling is the most basic responsibility of parents. Parents are handing life scripts to their children, scripts that in all likelihood will be acted out for the rest of the children's lives. Stephen Arrow Covey my name is Neji Evelyn. The role model is a person who has good examples that others imitate. In a good role model, you find the following qualities. Integrity, which is honesty and trustworthiness. Accountability, respectfulness, humility, empathy, dynamism. Role models are result-oriented people. Role models are people who have vision and mission to accomplish. In order to achieve these goals, they set a standard for themselves. Take example of our Lord Jesus Christ, who set a standard, and the standard is holiness. It is boldly and clearly written in the Holy Scriptures. It reads, without holiness, no one can see God. Be holy, for I, your God, I am holy. Role models are people whose words and actions matches. They don't deviate. They don't compromise just to accommodate so many persons. Role models are people who believe living for others because there's a saying that says that the best life lived on earth is the life lived for others. You can be a good role model. I can be a good role model. You don't need to be a superstar or a celebrity. Parents, you can be good role model, especially mothers. You can be a good role model to your children. Remember, you are the first teacher. There's a saying that says that when you train a woman, you train a nation. So as a mother, mind the kind of company you keep, the kind of ways, the kind of movies you watch with the kids, and the kind of ideas you inculcate in them. As young ones, you can actually be good role models among your peers. As a teacher, you can be a good role model. As a pastor, you can be a good role model. 
do what you say. You can imitate Apostle Paul in the Holy Scripture. He said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. As businessmen and women, you can be good role model. Remember, you don't need to cheat to succeed. As workers, whether government, private sectors, you can actually be good role model. That's showing good example wherever you find yourself. Thanks for watching. There are many heroes, role models, and mentors. They can be our parents, relatives, teachers, colleagues, friends, and even strangers. But one thing is for sure, they all affect our lives one way or the other. If you are going to be influenced by anyone you admire and believe in, you need to make sure that person will make you a better, more responsible and successful human being. Always do your best in whatever you do. Set goals and seek challenges. Become a role model for those coming behind you. And always have God in your heart. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, giving you an example so that you might follow in his steps. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. Role models should have passion and ability to inspire. They should have clear set of values, selflessness and acceptance of others, and the ability to overcome obstacles. A role model should be like the light at the end of the tunnel, guiding you when you are lost, Christiana Imre. Role models have an astounding effect on the lives of young people in our society. A role model has the ability to shape the views, ideas, and actions of a young person. Role models help children and youth to discover how they wish to become in the future. The influence that role models have over young people is tremendous. In the community, Role models should be people that young stars interact with and learn positive good values from them within the community or local environment that they belong to. For example, a role model who is a thief may cause a young person to believe that stealing is acceptable and tolerable, which it is not. So, Community role models definitely need to step up and take a more prevalent role in the lives of young people. Role models in the media are also essential for young people. These are idols, actors, athletes, authors, politicians, revolutionaries, or any other person who is known because of their fame. Media role models have a high influence over young people because they are often placed on a high pedestal and worshipped like gods. It is important for youth to be wary of negative media role models because they may glamorize truly wrong values. The influence that role models have over young people is vast and great. Role models can affect a young person's beliefs or possibly change their entire outlook on life. Young people may want to imitate the desirable traits they see in role models. Role models can also have an effect on one's decision-making process. The choices a young person makes in life are directly associated with these are role models. Be role models for future generations. In one of the books I wrote, 14 Simple Ways to Make Your Marriage Work, I noted, quoting him, Ginnant, that children are like wet cement. Whatever falls on them creates an impression, either for good or for bad. Generations come and generations go, but the passing generation has so much effort for the generations that are yet to born, hence the need to be careful.
about what we do in the now. Becoming role models for future generation means taking charge of the now, be responsible in the now in order to secure the later. Becoming role models for future generation implies not just giving our children education, but giving them quality life, quality lifestyle, quality opportunities that will enable them to secure a bright future. Doing our best, setting the pace for a greater future for those who are yet to come. We pray for tomorrow, even in the now. God bless you. All of this, the family is the first school for young children. And parents are the powerful first role models. So don't worry that children never listen to you. But worry that they are watching you. Robert Fogel. The role that people play in your life can determine how far you can go. Please let us be positive and good role models. Thank you all for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as share to your friends and family. Till we meet again, I remain Sister Gladys Ngozi Anyao. Have a blessed month everyone. Ciao.